Hi, happy Sunday. I don't know who's gonna hop on. Um, Harper fell asleep in her swing. Jeff goes back to work tonight, so he's napping. I am getting some social media stuff done. Talk about that. We will talk about it because um, social media is a very important part of what we do, right? So we need to learn and we need to be willing to learn about social media and how to be successful on it. And you need to strive to be successful at social media because I hate social media. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, like I don't like having to always post to my stories. Well, not have to, but I don't like always having to try to remember to take pictures. And I don't like always trying to come up with content. Like I'm not great at it, um, but it's important. Whoever's watching, say hi, because I don't like talking to myself. But I've had to learn. I've had to learn to be consistent, right, on social media. Um, why? Because that is how we run most of our business, right? We either have parties, we have our stories, we make posts, we have our profile pictures, all these different things that are helping drive our business. We have the team pages, VIP pages. And what are we doing to be successful on those pages, right? What are we doing? You may think you have it all figured out, but none of us are social media influencers. We're all still learning. I am nowhere close. I am not the best at social media, but I want to give y'all some tips so that you can start to be successful, okay? First tip, be on your stories every single day. Don't care what you're doing. If you're staying at home being lazy, put that on your story. If you're working on Scentsy, put that on your story. If you are making samples, put it on your story. Out to eat, put it on your story. Whatever you're doing, Put that on your story and share it. Look at people that you look up to in this business for influence, for ideas. That's what I do. Um, I'm not as inconsistent with my stories anymore. I'm very consistent with like, oh, here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm working on. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Blah, blah, blah. Um, what I'm not great at is coming up with my own content. So I follow a bunch of people that I think are good on, on social media who have very successful businesses and I see what they're doing and I copy it. Okay, well, I don't copy it, but I make it my own. Um, but the idea drives from what they're doing. So that's my other tip. Follow successful people. Um, my reels are not my own ideas. <laughs> Maybe the words are what I'm talking about, but I'm taking those ideas from reels that I've watched. I will sit um, for 20, 30 minutes and I will just watch reels on Instagram and a lot of my reels now are business related, mom related, family related. So I'm watching these reels and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can make that. I have a kid, right? Um, I have a husband who can hold the camera. So I will watch those reels and save them so that I can go back later and rewatch them so that I can then make it, right? So if you're watching my Instagram, my reels, they are mine and they're getting views, but they're not my idea okay they might be my idea with the words um or like the one that's like dun, 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 like that one i just made that one but most people are doing it on like what's normal in a married person's house or a new mom i did mine with scentsy like what's normal as a scentsy consultant um so being creative in those aspects is really going to help you with that um reading blogs which i'm not really good at but there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff out there. You also want to be really um, intentional with when and what you post. Okay, you want to be posting at busy times. So like Saturdays at like five or six at night is a really good time. Sunday evenings you want to be posting like during the week, either in the mornings or in the evenings. You don't want to post more than once or twice a day. Um, you want to space things out. So like I have a lot of reels right now that I've done last week because I didn't have any pictures. So now I'm gonna try to post for two or three days pictures and then I'll post a reel and then I'll post pictures and then I'll post a reel. So, um, just being consistent. Some other things that are really little use the same filter, um, on your pictures. So get Lightroom. It's completely free. Find, um, you can buy like, um, filters or what is it called? Um, can't remember. Girls. Um, but you can get like custom, like, filters, I guess, for your photos. Like you take the photo, you upload that to Lightroom and then you can put it over that. Google how to do it because I don't really know. My friend's a photographer, so she did it for me. Um, but like if you look at all my pictures, they're consistently like the same vibe, I guess. Like the colors, the tint, all of that. So think of that. Um, that's another way to be very consistent. 
and being real, like being raw. I am never dressed or put makeup on or do my hair. So days like today, when I have church, when I've gone somewhere, when I'm feeling like I look decent, I will stock up on some marketing pictures. I will make some reels. I'll change like my outfit so it doesn't look like my reels are all made the same day. And then I will save them and I will use those throughout the week. Um, sometimes I have to make up something. Sometimes I don't post today because I have nothing going on. But just being consistent, okay? So you want to have at least three regular posts a week and two reels if you guys are really trying to get social media. And your stories should be going every single day. They should have multiple things on it. I share um, making dinner. I share changing my wax. I share making samples, using my counter clean. I share using cotton cleanups. Um, putting the fresh up, uh, freshen up on my dogs. So think of ways like that that you can, things you're already doing, and just take a video of it on your story. You don't even have to save it. Just put it up there, be like, oh my gosh, my dogs stink. Here's some freshen up pup, now they don't stink. I showed my disgusting counters the other day, and I was like, y'all, my, my counters are disgusting. I put no filter on it so people could see, and then I showed my counter clean afterwards, right? So being consistent, being really consistent in what you're doing is really important. Um, and just having that presence, you want to stay positive, you want to stay neutral, you want to stay, you know, away from the politics, away from um, really, um, like, controversial things. Now, I post a lot of things about church, about the Bible, things like that, but um, nothing that's, like, very controversial in the sense of, like, government, politics, COVID, things like that. Um, and I have very strong beliefs, but I keep those to myself and talk to them with friends. And the reason I do that is because I don't know where everybody stands. I don't know everybody's views, quite frankly. I don't care. Um, and I don't care if people know mine, but I like to stay neutral because I don't want to have those conversations 10 times a day. I don't really want to offend anybody on my page. I don't want anybody to um, think that I don't like them because of their beliefs or anything like that. I like to stay neutral. Your social media is your social media, but staying positive and full of sensey and life and your families and what you're doing and hobbies is going to be a lot more productive um, and get a lot more positive engagement than constantly being negative or constantly sharing things that are controversial and making a lot of um, anger and things arise like that. So those are just some social media tips. I hope they're helpful. Definitely you don't need to be dressed every day to go on. Like when I'm on my stories, I just, I just use a filter and I'm like, y'all, in real life, I got Harper, she's dressed, I'm not. I mean, I'm home with a baby. I don't, I don't need to have on nice clothes and makeup and my hair done. Um, but later on this evening, there's a post that will be posted that has the reels I made on it. It has some pictures I took, things like that. So you'll see some ideas. If you need more, go to my social media. Follow um, some good ones are Ray Ray Anderson, Chloe Cox, Chastity Robinson, Chelsea Otto. Um, who's some more? Doo, doo, doo. Cass, uh, Katie Lasseter, Amber Ryan. They all have very good presence on social media. Um, and so they're good to follow for ideas as well. So if anybody has questions on social media, or tips on social media, how to do something, let me know. I'm really trying to have a better social media presence. Another good one is her name's Courtney. Courtney PS is her Instagram name. If you don't have an Instagram, make one. You can connect it to your Facebook. So everything you post on Instagram will post on Facebook. Instagram is a lot more like social selling based, I guess. Um, I, I use both. So I post my Instagram, which automatically posts my Facebook, automatically posts my Instagram or my Facebook story. Instagram has a lot more story options, looks a lot better. So go on Instagram. If you are on Instagram and do not follow me, follow me. Okay, that's very important because I shout y'all out in my stories. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I can't tag you. Okay, I've tried to look for most of you. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to so you can get shouted out and tagged on my stories. Okay. Have a good Sunday, guys. I'm going to try to get some more work done while Harper's asleep. Um, I am going to work on being very intentional this week. Like, I've been working on that, but 
I need to start some mini habits. Um, not even just for Cincy, but like life. So I'll keep you all updated.